last week's AQ news, I put in the title that there was no update that week because the update got delayed. That has never happened before ever with AQ Worlds. Never. Not once has that ever happened. So not only did it happen last week, it happened again this week. Now there's the whole hurricane thing happening, of course, so that is kind of, but you know, hurricanes happen in Florida and have in the past. Uh, they've never missed a release before. Now it got pushed again from this week on to early next week. So it's not going to be a Friday release for part one. So they're doing two parts one week for the anniversary event. The calendar got updated. So there will be the just collection chest tomorrow with just the seasonal stuff returning and star swords. Uh, also on Twitter, they said there would be a boss to farm of some sort as well. So it's going to be like last week again, but with a 10k chest like being added. And then on the 18th, you will have the event with the 500 free ACs. Now the 500 free ACs you earn by playing the event. So that's why those two are tied together and you're not getting the 500 ACs on the 14th. You have to wait till the 18th ish <laughs> ish. So they don't have an exact date for that, but yeah, around there. Apparently the delay has to do with coordinating and working with the guests that are going to show up in the event. So they have a few that we know about. Uh, so yeah, kind of makes sense that they're, it's not just the team they're, they're normally working with on the event. So it kind of makes sense. In EQ Mobile News or EQ Unity as it's called, because it is on Steam as well. There is a Twitch page for the game. Now it's 15 people following it already. Wowzers. I imagine this page has been up for a little bit, but I saw that uh, Cam Gretz uh, tweet out about it today. So I, I thought I'd just throw in the news video because it's kind of interesting. That, uh, yeah, so go follow it. I don't think anyone has streamed under this category yet. If you want to be the first person on Twitch to stream under the AQ World's Unity category, go for it. All right, this is either very good or very bad news, depending on what camp you're in. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm on the uh, good news side because I... I I have been waiting for this for quite a while. So, uh, one of the items that was requested to be recolored for Black Friday was the Panda Hoodie by the uh, AQ News Artist Team Twitter. And I actually got a, a reply, which is the last thing I'd ever expect. So the statement they've given for this, the official statement on Hero Mart items is they will never return to the game. If you don't get them on Hero Mart, and if the item is not sold on Hero Mart, there's no way of obtaining them. You can't item donate them. Absolutely no way of getting them, period. Uh, and they will not recolor them as well. That's a, another thing they said. It looks like that's no longer the case, which might be a good thing for people that want some of those items. Uh, it looks like they will be recoloring Panda Hoodie and it will be in the shop. Although there is kind of a loophole being used here where it's only available for hero points, which hero points you have to get via ordering a physical item from Hero Mart and the points are included with that order. It's like $5 for every single point uh, that you get on the items that they don't want to make specific Hero Mart item merch for. So it's kind of a way of release of re-releasing the Panda hoodie without having like having to make physical hoodies. So you can just get it for hero points. So it's kind of the same thing because you still have to pay for shipping and all that stuff. So you're not like, you're not getting it cheaper by any means or anything like that. Well, maybe a bit cheaper, but anyway, uh, yeah. So owners of the original will get it for free and they're going to do a black and pink version of the hoodie. It doesn't say here whether or not the original will also be available. I would assume it would be maybe, I don't, I don't know, but maybe it's just the black and pink that's available and maybe the original will stay with the original with the people that order it originally that might be what they're doing actually i don't know we'll have to wait to see for it to actually be in game let me know your thoughts on that in the comments because i think that's the first hero mart item it's ever going to be not rare anymore or at least getting a recolor of it so kind of breaking the rule they set for themselves there so what other item would you like to see also break that rule i want a hat for card clasher Anyway, so this Friday, head to AQ.com for Interscript Worlds event celebrates its 14th birthday. Our seasonal birthday map returns with a new farming monster and a super sweet new reward gear. So yeah, there's going to be a monster uh, this Friday, 
but uh, no actual event. Like I said earlier, that got pushed back again. So yeah, there will also be a collection chest. You get a little sneak peek of that. Speaking of 10k chests, here's one of the capes that will be appearing in the Black Dragon, which is what they're calling the next 10k chest coming up tomorrow. These Metal Moglin pets are coming out as well. They look like they make cool house items, uh, being that they're metal and they probably can't walk, but or maybe they're robots. Who knows? Elena tweeted out this art for monsters that were going to be in the event, but apparently people like them enough that uh, they're going to make them actual equipable on your character outfits. So good news. All right, next up, we got a teaser for map art that looks like it has some correlation to this NPC in some way, maybe a grown up version of Sally. This outfit from Despera is confirmed to be releasing. So really cool and uh, really nice hair shading on this as well. This was uh, shading's got much, much better with the hair stuff. Very good. A finished outfit from Lay here. It looks like he forgot to do the uh, outline uh, with the orange there, with the eye color on the uh, on the outline of the character. But it looks it looks mostly finished though. So yeah, it's a it's a good uh, good color he chose for the outfit. I'm always asking for more simple outfits, and Lay really pulled this one off. Very very simple. Good, good luck to it. It's just, it's too easy to make those jokes. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so first here with a gaming set. Uh, gamer set. Oh, the most oppressed group of people right there. Gamers. Great. Glad they got a set. So, um, yeah, I guess gamers got some glasses on. And um, what are what are these? I, I don't know what gamer has these. Type of, anyway, um, got some uh, headphones. Wait, let me tell you, wearing headphones and a hat like this at the same time, not not gamer uh, gear. You would um, you'd be that hat, you'd be overheating. Uh, and where are you get? Are you gaming outdoors in the snow? Any <laughs> anyway, anyway, I don't need to criticize this outfit. It's a cool outfit. I, I don't know why it's a gaming outfit, but it's cool nonetheless. And I imagine it'll be color custom and all that stuff, like it says there. So yeah, I'll probably pick it up when it's in the game. So here's a story. So every year, like clockwork, Omega will suggest that one of the Inquisitors gets a black version for Black Friday. And every year, he gets ignored because, or I assume it's a he. Anyway, uh, they get ignored. And uh, well, this year, it's different. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy for Omega here. Uh, th there is actually going to be an Inquisitor outfit. Now, it's not the black one like he suggested. It's black and red, but close close enough he seems he seems like yeah close enough so that's coming to the game soon speaking of which if you have any of your own items that you think would look good being blacked out or pinked out even or with all pink for variants of it um i asked for the bounty hunter blades to be turned pink last year i remember and uh they made them burgundy so they're not guaranteed to be pink. Just gonna let you know that if you if you think it's gonna be like a nice light pink color, very cool looking, that might make it burgundy. So don't get your hopes up for the right shade of pink, but they'll try. They'll try. I don't think they mess with the black ones too often, so that's a more safe bet. But anyway, moving on. Here's a set commission from Kutaro, and oh, it, it really pains me to say that because it's probably going to be the last time I say it. Anyway, uh, Ion Naval Commander, a commission. So, yeah, really nice Naval Commander. I love the revolver with the little, like, electricity cylinder in it. Futuristic revolver. Very cool. Uh, yeah, and then you got, like, the, it's over and I hate that. Or, anyway, yeah, so you got, you got all that junk and cool animations and all that stuff. Very well done there from Kutaro. If I had a nickel for every time someone left AE to pursue a career in education, I'd have two nickels, which is not a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Uh, so yeah, Kotaro is going to pause or stop or indef for an indefinite amount of time uh, commissions and just general art for AQ Worlds. So minus one artist. Uh, this has actually happened before, uh, if you remember, Revenus, uh, completely different person from Kotaro, of, co of course, uh, you know, he kind of, he kind of dipped on the, for a while, 
and then came back as a different person. So yeah, maybe uh maybe someone else will come back <laughs> that does art very similar to how uh, Kotaro and Revenus did art. So maybe sometime in the future. Who knows? Who knows? But for now, uh yeah, like like I said, like uh Korean education, stuff like that. So really happy for him. Hopefully everything works out well for him. Okay. On a more positive note, uh, so Mogulin Pumpkin Witch from A ranks looking really good. Mm, probably one of my favorite A ranks outfits in a little bit. So yeah, definitely, definitely a great one from him. Uh, love the little little pumpkin on the hat, little pumpkin face. It's great. So yeah, there's two different variants of it. So one's got like the shoulder, one doesn't. And uh, yeah, really nice. Love the uh, the leg, legging, whatever you call that thing. The uh, whatever covers the leg, but not fully. Anyway, yeah. So good stuff there. Also, some Halloween themed pets from A ranks as well. Very cute. Speak of pets, NCS uh, put this uh, emo looking trouble up, which is an interesting thing to see. Then, a little surprise one as well. So, we might be seeing this. Really nice looking Darkcaster Naval Commander here from Dominique. Yeah, I really uh, love the look of it. Great, uh, great variants of the Darkcaster chosen for this. Sometimes when people do Darkcaster uh, remakes and. Uh, well, this isn't the first and it won't be the last Darkcaster Naval. There's actually a staff member that has a Darkcaster Naval as their personal. Uh, so there is officially a Darkcaster Naval already in the game. Uh, there isn't one for players available. So yeah, that's still a pipe dream, I guess. But yeah, so this looks really good. Good variant. One of the better ones I've seen of this uh, idea. So yeah, good stuff. Dragon themed Death Knight from Furrow. I really like the arbor shape that's here uh yeah not covered in cloth that actually look really cool and it's just like uh, kind of like a dead space look to it a bit yeah there too so yeah some, uh, some good armor pieces on here not a huge on claw feet or any of that but uh yeah pretty nice as if with a black friday variant of I had to think about it vindicator of they yeah that's that's the name of it i'm gonna call it paladin for some reason anyway but uh yeah looking pretty good the purple on the blade Ooh, that's, that looks nice. A big old thanks to all the channel members. Appreciate it a lot. So yeah, thanks to all the members. And thank you guys for watching this video. Appreciate that as well. A uh, pretty long one for the news today, but some good stuff to talk about. The panda hoodie thing is interesting. I did not expect to see that. And yeah, some other uh, really uh, cool stuff this week as well. And some sad stuff with Kotaro leaving. Hopefully one day he'll come back. Copium. He'll come back. Just getting some milk from the store. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so yeah, I'll be live tomorrow checking out the not a release, the 10k chest release with uh the boss fight, 10k chest boss fight, two weeks in a row. Well, we didn't even get a 10k chest last week, so yeah, there's that. Anyway, but uh, hurricane and all that. Anyway, but yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe. Bye bye.